Hi there, welcome to Formidable Academy. In this video, we're going to be looking at shortcuts which will make your life when working with weight simpler and more convenient. First of all, we look at the control C, which is your copy function, which will allow you to copy sentences with ease or copy pictures, even tables with ease around your document. So to implement this, you just have to select the words you want to copy, control, click on it, hold it, then click on C, you have copied it. And then you can come, maybe let's say you want to paste it here. You can use control V and then you have pasted it. And those are your most important need to know shortcuts on weight because you will definitely need to copy something somewhere. You definitely need to paste it somewhere else. Another function you might need to learn is to cut when you want to remove maybe a portion of a sentence from here and maybe you want to put it a little bit below or somewhere else. And when you have cut something to paste it, you still use control V. There we go. You have pasted your thing there. And then if you want to undo, instead of coming here to click on your undo, it might be a longer process. You can use control Z and in that way you have done the, the, the activity you had just did. And then to redo, you, you can use control plus Y. And in that way, you can bring back something you had just maybe removed or shifted. You bring it back to the state it was at before. And then to select everything in a document, control A. And in this way, mostly you use this to alter the, the font of your document everything will be for altered to say maybe you want to use Arial and everything is still selected at the moment you can also alter to say you want everything to be using font size number nine and it will be done like that let's implement something we just learned now if we want to undo that we just say Control Z Z it goes back to where it was before we implemented what we just implemented the next shortcut which uh, you might need to know will be accessing your clipboard so when you copy something or you cut something it gets stored in your clipboard and you can maybe not choose to paste the thing immediately or maybe let's say you have copied a lot of things and now as you know when you paste you paste the most recent thing you have you have copied so if you want to paste something you had copied maybe three minutes before you have to access it from your clipboard you just have to click on your windows button and v and you have everything you had copied just in the last hour or ever since you have switched on your computer the nice thing as you can see you can also copy diagrams you can also copy tables but according to my um advice i would say when you copy a table quickly paste it the i'm not certain if it can hold and stay there in the clipboard intact for too long i don't trust that so if you copy a table quickly paste it we don't know what might happen to it might get corrupted in the process if it stays too long in your clipboard the next thing you might need to learn is your print function you might not want to navigate around to say file and then look for the print function which is on your left here to quickly execute that, you just say Control P, and then now you'll be asked to say to which printer you want to print, how many pages, the size of your prints, if you want to call it or not, and then you can easily print in that way. Another nice shortcut is going to open a new document. Let's say you want to open a new document. Now we can just say Control, and now we are inside the new document. As easy as that. Then now to go back to our formidable document, there we go, we are back there. And then let's say you want to find something. Let's say you want to find a sentence with distinctions and you have forgotten or maybe your document is so big that you can't find this sentence you had written about distinctions. You can use the find function, which is executed by you clicking control plus F, control F. And then when you come here to write distinctions, it will look for any sentence that contains the word distinctions and it will name place them here for you and as you go over it it tells you to say on which page page is it found if you use these arrows it will navigate to those pages for you 
so that you can easily see the sentences. The next thing you might need to learn, which I deem to be very, very important, is you putting your things here in this ribbon, the functions you like to use. For example, let's say you like to use this dictate function. You can come right click on it and say add to quick access bar. And then you have your, 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 your dictate button closer to you. Even when you are in the design tab or in the reference tab, you, can, you don't have to go back to the home tab to get to dictate. It's already in your quick access toolbar here and you can easily access it to implement whatever I want to implement. Moving on to the next nice shortcut you might need to learn when using Word is the dictate function. The dictate function allows you to speak to your computer with your mark on. It can interpret what you are saying and write what you are saying. This is to allow you to write your documents in a faster and more efficient manner. The only drawdown to this is that you have to come back and edit as the the, there is no master of pronunciations. So the, some things, the computer might not hear them well. You might need to come and edit that and then you will be done. Another function, which is nice to know, is the editor, which you, you can implement and it will allow you to check your spelling grammar and it will also give you suggestions to make your document as great as possible and more pleasant for the person who will be assessing the work you are writing. Then the next thing which is more than important to learn in your web uh, application is the shortcuts related to the functionalities you like to use. As you hover above each function, you realize that some functions have shortcuts which you can learn. For example, for the editor, when you look here, you can see that in this pop-up message, they suggest F7. So if you click on F7, it will implement the editor and it will allow you to use the editor on the go like that. And this is something you might need to learn if you think it's faster for you to use your keyboard than to use your mouse to access something maybe which is in your quick access toolbar. And it's something worth knowing because it can make your life easier also. Coming on to the last part of the, 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 the video, I can also highlight today you can also copy, paste, and uh, cut documents, not documents, uh, figures and tables. Just be aware if your your captions are moving with the the, 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 the tables and figures, just to be aware of that. Make sure everything is moving as you wish. My favorite window, uh, my favorite word shortcuts are as follows it's alt equals to i like to write equations and it's very important for me to say i want to implement an, a, an equation i just have to know to say how do i do that and i love to be able to easily have everything sorted out and in that way i can quickly implement that and the other thing you might want to learn if you like to use equations also is that even each symbol here has its own shortcut which you can learn to use for example i like to use to write greek symbols and other scientific symbols such as sigma something i i use every day such as zeta such as eta things which i use every day and are very very important to know because it's faster to type those three alphabets than for you to come here and look for the symbol from far far away or to use other functionalities as i have shown you in the video where i was explaining how to write any symbol on word from me your, your, your formidable academy tutor it was a pleasure to assist you with these shortcuts i hope they are of good assistance to you thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you